welcome back to the shop so today we're gonna tie up some loose ends so I'm gonna mount the motor on this thing I decided to go with a set of pulleys and a v-belt just like the original the cast iron pulleys um, they're actually very nice well they're very nicely machined I should say uh, the motor I used for this thing is actually an older craftsman which I believe is manufactured by Hoover don't quote me on it but it's the most balanced motor I own it's a three-quarter horse um, 3450 rpm so 150 rpms below the maximum speed of the wheels I'll be using on this grinder so that suits me fine uh, I did run it a little bit so the belt could run in the spindle warmed up just a little bit barely feel a little bit of heat on there and uh, the pulleys are running in the belt is running in I haven't finished the electrical work on it yet nor have I mounted the chuck yet um, I did run a dial indicator through this basically about one thou is what I see from here to here so over 12 inches that's preliminary I haven't ground the bed nor do I think I will what I did was I actually stoned it with one of my not so flat stones and uh, all I did was just clean up the gunk that was on the bed so it's nice and clean now so let me show you what the motor looks like and maybe I'll run it a little bit this is what the pulley system looks like so for now I don't have a switch on this machine at all I only have a plug so I'll plug it in and I can barely feel it running so hopefully it'll run okay if needs be I will replace the motor with a three-phase motor but for now this is what I had so this is what I'm going to use um, motor is a little oversized in my opinion but what can you do I wanted to show you guys um, the little known part of this grinder is the wheel guard okay. so this wheel guard was once fastened with this band actually steel band and while I was unscrewing it it actually started to strip and not only that but it's not the best looking thing around so I picked up one of these um, hose clamp kits and uh, that's what I'm going to run on this. Next up I'm going to turn the bolts that actually fit into this slot so I can fit the chuck. So back at the lathe. These are the carriage bolts I'm planning on using to mount the chuck and uh, these are basically 0.8 of an inch and I need uh, 0.836 actually I need about 802 uh, 702 I mean so it's about 130 thousandths of what I gotta remove out of this thing and uh, the show on the road. They don't have to be all that precise, it's just as long as they're clean.
I figured I'd show you guys this. This is my magnetic chuck. I picked it up for actually very, very little money. And the reason for it is because it's not in great shape. But there's a few things that this thing has going for it. Came with its own clamps. That's number one. And uh, the bottom is not corroded to all hell. So I was able to just plainly stone the bottom, clean it up, and uh, get rid of all the crud on there. So with that said, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to oil the back of this truck a little bit and oil the table and uh, put these two together. Will they be permanent? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Time will tell, but for now it's getting it together and then uh, you know figuring out things as I go So from uh, carriage bolts to T-slot nuts that actually index into the actual slots so they don't spin. I think they came out alright actually for something that was so quick. Time to start mounting the switch. Time to plug it in and start. Well, the brackets are dry. It's time to mount the truck. And uh, I have the truck kind of centered, but it's not fully centered yet. If you look underneath, I have a uh, federal indicator um, it's an old one that uh, I'm going to use to actually indicate this in to kind of tram it but uh, the main thing is this really doesn't need to be all that tram because once you grind it in you can even grind the rail so if it's you know somewhat skewed well I don't want to deal with taking a lot of material once I put a rail in it so I'm gonna Tram it in the best I can. So what I did to prepare for this is I stoned the back of the chuck, blew it out with compressed air, and uh, with my luck I forgot the compressor on and it will turn on while I'm shooting this video. With that said, let's mount this thing up.
that's the end of part two. Uh, with that said, coming up on part three is addressing the wheel, grinding the chuck, a couple of things that I ordered for this thing, a couple of 3D printed parts. Time will tell. Subscribe, comment, don't comment, don't subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you think is uh, warranted. If you like this stuff, come back for more. So with that said, bye bye.